This is Django1911. Hello and welcome to my channel. We are going to be taking a look at another spider go that is made in China. This is none other than the spider go subhilt valoton. Valoton. There's always that name, the subhilt. Let's see if I can understand why the term is used on this knife. Now, I've checked some videos on the Spider Cove Subhilt Valoton, and the Valoton, the authentic one, is nowhere near this copy. On the authentic one, it is much more narrower here I don't know on the width but on this this is just fat and wide the authentic would be so narrow I mean just this is just really not wide but the authentic if you can see it it's I don't know what would what they were thinking if they're copying the authentic peloton ending up with a, a handle this big as compared to the authentic which was just narrow so that's the main difference between the authentic and the, the copy this is just the outline here here also but the dimensions in the handle are really not the same for the authentic and the copy not even close So this is just an entirely new knife by itself. Although inspired by the Valoton, the subhilt, I can't understand the subhilt. There is the hilt, where's the hilt of the sword? I think that was a hilt of a knife, it would be here. And the subhilt. Hmm. Ah. Okay. there is a liner you can see there do you this is the, bl the black is the g10 the stainless is the liner nah it's not one piece and it's just see that addition of the liner this one this that's uh, going into the other side so it was one piece but it doesn't look like it's one piece. There's a line I can see. Where is it one piece? It's just made to look one piece. There's a line. Like this one is added. These panels. Anyways, the subhilt Valoton is known for that. The subhilt design. So maybe that's why it's called the subhilt. Probably. The shape of the Valoton is just a like an alligator much as the shape of a spider go knife they're just unique because of how they place that thumb hole so it it comes out you know you could have just made like that but to maximize space when you're folded see if that that's already a big knife so this one is narrower narrower which is has which has always been what valaton was it was much like a stiletto but really not a stiletto because it's folding and it's just a but it has those qualities in this bigger knife nicely done this one i mean this model has centering that is just uh, not not 100 percent but it's already okay nothing touching here this has the teflon bushings not the copper inside this one here you're gonna see ah yeah you're not gonna see it hard to see there there's white there somewhere sandwich that's white that white bushing is the teflon bushing and it's not the phosphor bronze teflon bushings are fine i mean it would be nice if you got metal bushings but it's already good and I don't think that would be fading away from use and 
doing a wob wobbling. There's no wobble in this knife. So that one, first sample, mm, just okay. Second sample, you have that centering that is nowhere near center. Still good here, it still looks like one piece on the sub hilt. No problem opening it up. And the grind is actually decent, you know. It's a straight knife. Taiwan, Taichung. The authentic one would be coming from Taichung, Taiwan. Because there's a Spiderco factory there. Taiwan, the Taichung factory. Spiderco factory. And they churn out really good spider knives. But this one is not probably coming from there, it's probably coming from none other than our friendly neighborhood, China. So, not as good, but still, you know, it's not making any contact that it's showing on this side anywhere so that's good maybe just a little bit of tightening here it would solve that centering so how heavy are you spider co sub hilt valoton valoton v a l l o t o n Valoton 6.7 ounces 0.42 pounds 191 grams 0.90 kilograms and 6. Point, no 6.7 ounces you are 6.7 ounces open folded it's the same other one same oh it's the same so aside from the build quality being you know just mediocre not mediocre that's bad or negative connotation but you know it can already it's passable it's not the worst so how sharp are you this is the first the more centered one spider co sub hilt valoton copy <laughs> you've already watched me cut some good ones with this paper I mean some good knives with this paper and automatically you can tell that this one with a few brushes on the sharpener would be as sharp as a cutter like the rest that I've reviewed see I'm just a little bit careful on how the blade is entering the paper you can get away with it the sharper your knife is you just don't care because it's just sharp it's gonna cut it so this one is it could be sharper that's the first one this one is with the not centered sample 2 spider gold sub hilt valoton copy <laughs> this is actually sharper or no wait mm-hmm yes just by a little bit this one just cuts a little bit smoother you can hear it ah just about the same maybe just a brain bias yeah it's about the same but 
sharpen it. See? Nice. Huh. So, spider coal, sub hilt, valoton, or valoton, val valoton, valoton, valoton. What else? I think those are the correct ones you, between the two. <laughs> so valoton or valot valoton. Valoton. I'd say valoton. Hmm. These are sturdy knives. <sighs> Even with that, there you can see it clear. See the white one here, here, here. The white one that. That's the Teflon bushing. Yeah. Even with that bushing, this would give good service if you use it years to come. One is straight, you know, one the other one is not as straight. But among the Chinese knives, this still ranks in the good build. There are just knives, Chinese knives, that really just don't have that care of a quality control. <laughs> I'm just going to hold it so that it has a final post going out. And there you go. That is a quick look for... Oh no, quick look at the Spyderco subhilt valoton copy and i hope you liked the video please subscribe if you can we greatly appreciate the support and as always i will be seeing you guys the next time